We got ADP 44 5. 4 4 5s leaked chat log. This is disgusting. Okay, so um, as you guys can see, the title is very self explanatory. These are the chat logs of what this fat ass nigga was saying to these little ass girls. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get right into it, man. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. <laughs> So I just watched an hour and a half long stream from the people who caught EDP and I was beyond shocked and disgusted to read the things EDP was allegedly sending to this decoy who was posing as a 13 year old girl. He is completely aware she's supposed to be 13 the entire time he was talking to her and even mentions it time and time again during the two months they've been talking. Ew, That's what right, the fuck wrong with this nigga man? For two months. I mean, they really gained this guy's trust. He messaged them on Instagram to start the connection and tried to play it cool for quite some time, acting like he was kind of casually chatting with a fan, occasionally throwing out an offhand flirty comment. LOL, oh, uh, one of these days, if you aren't busy, we should video chat or something. You seem cool and nice, so I figure why not? And we did end up video chatting him. This is where it was already becoming inappropriate for EDP. And trust me, that is just the tippy tippy tip of the iceberg when it comes to these chat logs. I also want to note that this guy is addicted to talking about guns and going to the gun range. Which don't get me wrong, that's a somewhat common hobby. But this guy spends his whole life by himself and goes to the gun range every day by himself, is not in good health, and says crazy, creepy shit all the time. Right. I feel you. I just got to the shooting range. I'm at the range attracting hella attention with this bitch. That looks badass. Yeah, I'm trying to sight this bitch in, but it's tough, lol. What are you doing today? Nothing much. Just putting some rails on this rifle. What are you doing? Just came back from the range. That sounds fun. I think that was a whole nother recipe for disaster. Like, if he wouldn't have been caught doing this, he could have harmed people in some other way. Not saying that this is any better though because if these chats are true he's an absolute scumbag like lock him up for life type stuff he details buying multiple gun parts that cost in the hundreds to even thousands of dollars and it's like his whole life revolved bro around get off of that shit man and like i said these chats took well over an hour and a half to read off on their live stream and it just slowly got more and more disgusting as time went on he slowly started flirting more and more he would talk about how he was blanking off. That's cool. What are you doing? Just got done beating my shit. What the fuck? La laughing my ass off. Just watching YouTube now. Oh, like, beating off. Lamau, yep. And telling her she was his fun friend. Calling her his baby and his princess shortly after that. And telling her that she makes him extremely happy and that one day he actually wants to meet up. And he acknowledges what he's doing is wrong over and over again. Probably a good 20 times. I mean, there's times where he even blocked her because he got so paranoid. A lot of them are R-rated. I'm not allowed to watch them. Lamau, oh hell fucking no. Maybe you can take me to see one. Oh hell nah. You're what, 13? You got me fucked up. That's not a good look, lol. Damn, you hurt my feelings. You're 13, lol. I don't know. Maybe I'll take you one day uh, laughing my ass off. Hell no, nah, man. I can't do this. Honestly, we can be friends in that... Be cool. I can't do this shit. This is something I'm going to have to live with for the rest of my life. I hope you aren't upset or angry about this. And after really taking the bait, they start talking more and more often. And pretty much every text he's sending at that point either has to do with very detailed, inappropriate, vulgar sept messages. Of course, we'd go slow. And then as you... As you're more comfy with it, things would move along. And you're so damn sexy. What if I'm being fuck? completely honest, I can't wait to take your shirt off so I can look and suck on your boobs. How does that feel? Pretty incredible, to be honest. The nipples get hard and really sensitive to the point where it starts making the girl even more and turned on. Got me about to, to the thought of me sliding my slowly inside you. So like all the way, not the entire way, I'll slowly ease it in. That way it's not too painful, and as it gets less and less painful, I'll go a little bit deeper and deeper. Oh, I don't know, it looks so big. Uh, it'll be okay, baby, I promise. I'll go slow to the speed of your liking. Whatever you don't want to do, what I will do. the fuck, man? And if you enjoy it and want it in all the way, then I shall satisfy my princess. Wow. Wow. talking to this wow. girl supposed to be 13, like she wow. has potential girlfriends. You what? sick fuck!
shit crazy, man. What you thinking about? Just cuddling and snuggling with you. Aw, uh, me too. Snuggles and kisses for my cutie. Well, called you babe because you're my baby girl. My little princess. You really think I'm a princess? Yes, I do. Nothing short of the nasty things you would see on a show like to catch a predator. Right. Sending pictures of his hog along the way. While well, they sent him selfies of this middle schooler who was actually a legal age decoy who used Facetune to look like a middle schooler. The whole time he's lusting over these pictures and talking about the sick things he wants to do to her. Honestly, it makes me sick to my stomach to read this stuff. He even admits that he gets off on the fact that it would be her first time. I mean, this is a real life sicko. The fact that he did this for two months and knew what he was doing was wrong so many times tells me that he's possibly known this about himself for quite some time. I just really pray to God that this was the first time he was doing this stuff and that there's not some legitimate victim out there. Not even for his sake, just for the victim's sake. Fuck this dude. Cause you see guys, he wasn't scared to do this because it's illegal or because it's morally wrong and disgusting. He says time and time again he's scared to do this because he doesn't want to lose everything in his life. And uh, you about to EDP if I'm just being honest with you. He says over and over again how he can get arrested for talking like this and it could fuck him in the end. But the decoy convinces him to come meet up with her at her family apartment anyways while her grandma is out. Text me when you're in front. Sounds good. Pine Ridge Apartments, right? Yes. Okay, leaving now. Okay, leaving now. Hold on. And that's when they found him. He came there um, out in the parking lot and they caught him and this is when they caught him outside that's probably why in the clip you saw on instagram he's so calm because this was premeditated for two months and obviously he knew what he was doing was wrong so now we just still await on this video that's supposed to be coming out i do appreciate them for leaking the chat log if you want to watch the full two hour stream from lap that shit is crazy man niggas is really real life weirdos Mm. Mm -mm -mm. And this nigga from Cali, man. Shit, shit is fucking sickening. 